back early, I am still intending on taking a break, but because of this new schedule that I've got, I thought it's best to end on a Friday than a Tuesday. As I'm recording this, Hall of Famer finishes very soon. And with that, a new schedule would have started for the Whitehawk Way on Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays. And the stuff I had in the backlog would only have took me up to a Tuesday. So I thought, you know what, we'll finish on the Friday and then we'll take some time off from this save. Doesn't mean that I'm going to be taking time off Football Manager altogether. I do have a few, thing, other few things planned. So yeah, I mean, we're just going to be taking a break from this save. I'm thinking probably about a month. Uh, maybe we come back at the start of um, August, possibly. Um, I'm not sure. And then we'll probably run this save for the duration of August. Maybe uh, do a few more videos. I'm not sure. And then we're going to be starting something brand new, hopefully in September, if I get things right. But there we go. Um, and with that being said, hey guys, welcome back to the channel for episode 48 of the Whitehawk Way here on Football Manager 2023. Yes, I have not touched anything since the previous video other than the um, loading up the save kind of thing. Still 11 o'clock, still June the 25th, 2029. And yeah, I mean, it's been, I think, about a week before since I recorded the previous video. So I just need to um, have a look about what we've got coming in, what we've got. We haven't got anything coming in, but we do have a few going out, though, I remember. So Dean Henderson going to Villarreal, John Stone's going to Ajax, and a few um, possibly going out on loan. I'm not sure, uh, but he's leaving on a free transfer, of course. We still have the best part of £70 million to spend. Unfortunately... Uh, Redibi, I did, be I believe, did reject that move to, I think it was Leipzig. Um, Jordan Ross wanted by a few teams. He's not interested in Barcelona because they were interested. Uh, Iwani is wanted by Villa. I don't think he'd be um, pushing for a move there. Um, Gay or Guhi is wanted. Um, it's like I previously said. I wouldn't be against getting rid of him altogether because he is getting on a bit. He's 28. Yes, I'm 32. Um, I know I'm old. I get told that repeatedly by the missus. Yeah, let's move on uh, before I start crying. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think we look, we're look we looking in a really good position. Um, central midfield and defensive midfield, I am really looking forward to because Sandy... I mean, we've got uh, Shengbin, wherever he is. There he is. Got him. We've got Sandy Joyner, who I think will probably be the main man but then you've got Mahmoudi who can also play that it's his best position from memory it is indeed so we've got to factor everybody in so it's going to be interesting um Rebelado and Robinson I'm guessing are going to be fighting each other for the starting space with Cadino in central defense obviously Alvarado the clear favorite at right back over Robinson and a few others really um there's not really many players that are established at right back and um, Alvarado is one of them there is another player that I am interested in who would give Alvarado some competition so whether I uh, pursue that or not I'm not really sure to be perfectly honest um, you can see we have strengthened a little bit in I say strengthened just got another um, player in central midfield Aidan Dehan you guys already know about him from a few videos ago from memory but if we do recap on the transfers so far Three signings so far, Aidan Tehan, Daniel uh, Ledonovsky, we're going with a silent M. Again, please let me know in the comments what you think. And then another striker, Ayut Bagki, or Bagsy, I don't know. Uh, Bagsy, Bagsy, Bagsy. Uh, so yes, um, a decent looking striker. Um, I don't know if he's going to be competing with Ioani and... Uh, Ross up front straight away probably not to be perfectly honest but there we go but I'm not sure what the rest of this transfer window is going to bring you um, I will obviously pop back in every now and again to update you on what's happening um, in terms of right wing I'm not really sure because we've got Santos we've got Vela we've got Ellis um, I would have thought by now that Ellis would hopefully have established himself a little bit more but then again Campos Santos has been really good and obviously we've got Vela who can cover on both so he's probably going to be more of a substitute defensive midfield is a bit tricky as well central defense is tricky I mean is it a good problem to have I'm really not sure um, I'm looking forward to Daniel Frolish being here though and um, he's going to be a really good backup keeper to Yasein who's been incredible since his move from Ajax um, but I am going to look to sell Radibi 
I'm not going to actively look to sell Melo, although he is wanted by Manchester United. Uh, but if we can get rid of Guhi and Radibi, that would be absolutely swell. So um, let's get on a little bit and uh, we'll see what this transfer window brings us. Right, I've got a little bit of an issue here. Because we've got Sham Chik Yin, who's just returned from a loan and he's looking really good. So he could be a potential backup to Alvarado. I completely forgot about this guy. Now, if we have a look at the transfers that I've done, just two confirm well, one confirmed signing, I should say, and that is this guy, who is actually a right back, but we have decided to loan him back to the club that we purchased him from. But, if we have a look at transfers on the ins, there's a Carlos Gonzalez. Now, I think we had a look at this guy before, and it's 25 million up front, and then the rest over installments. I think we're going to cancel this, because we do have that other... We do have the... Um, we have this guy. So, I'm thinking... We promote him to the first team. We take him off loan. Uh, not No longer available for a loan. We move him up to the first team. And um, we give him a new contract. Like he's asking for. He's only got two years left on it. So, uh, yeah. Be a good little um, good little signing. So, hopefully he doesn't want too much. But 50, 60, 50. That's fine. Have 50. You'll be fine with that. Thank you. That's not bad. That is not bad. McKenna has still got the potential as well. So, he's wanted. Who's he wanted by? He's wanted by Hearts on loan. See, this guy's actually had a bit of a resurgence. Because, again, I'm, I'm looking at another defender as well. So, oh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? And Hersloff as well. He's looking all right. Blimey. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to move Herstoff and McKenna back to the first team. So Herstoff is not going to be going back out on loan. McKenna is not going to be is no longer going to be out on loan. He's no longer available for a loan. We'll confirm that. And he's all right for now. He's got a long enough contract so i'm fine i am absolutely fine with what we've got at the minute um i'd still like to get rid of radibi and guhi please but i'm not i don't think i'm asking too much in that respect but yeah i think without spending too much money i think we're actually pretty good i think we uh i think we're actually in a really good position at the minute we've got Neve, ross alvarado vela uh, we've got so many good players and up and coming youngsters absolutely I mean, even Ellis is still only 21, so he's still got time to develop. I mean, even these. These are going to be featuring a lot this year. Stephen Jones, absolutely. Joyner. He needs to be the starting defensive midfielder. Definitely. He needs to be. Uh, Centre-back. I mean, I'd hand to hand can play there. 6-2. He's actually pretty good. In defence as well. So Aydan Dehan is definitely going to be one as a substitute 100%. So he is definitely going to occupy substitute position 3. Uh, Tom Hardy we can look at, at maybe 7. Because he can play on the left wing. Stephen Jones uh, probably won't be starting. But he will certainly get a spot on the bench. This guy 8 because of uh, the new guy. Uh, you will have number 2. And literally... I'm not going to have any spots available for mid central midfielders, am I? Oh, I've already got central midfielders on there. Silly me. Um, maybe Franny Kackett. Or have we got anyone on the bench yet who can uh, play right wing? No. <laughs> so, I'm going to need... Uh, I'm still not sure who we're... I mean, I guess we could put you on there as another option up front. Maybe make you as the... You there. And then maybe Mahmoudi is the starting centre-back. And then we've got Rebelado Cat. I mean, literally, we are just full of talent. We are full of talent. Which is fine if we want to get rid of Abidi on loan. That's absolutely fine. We sell Guhi. We even sell Melor. Robertson as well. Literally, these three could all leave. Even Shengbin could leave. Radibi. Literally, if we just had Ryan Robinson left out of all these, a BD out on loan, Robinson still here, and these five out the door, I'd be very happy. Absolutely. I would be very happy indeed. Can we get rid of you, possibly? I don't think he's got an agent. So, oh no, Mello is no longer wanted. Okay, scratch that. 
That's probably a good thing, actually. That is probably a good thing. Right, let's move on. Now, I can't say I've ever seen this before in Football Manager. Improved offer for Gebby required. Now, you know I went in for this guy for Hearts. Offered him a contract, I think it was about 50 grand. Now, he wanted about 140 grand a week. And I'm like, you're going to be a squad player. So, no. So, ultimately, he accepted Chelsea's offer because I just pulled out. But um, he evaluated the proposals fully before accepting Chelsea's offer. Fair enough. I don't think we've lost out on anything there. To be perfectly honest, I think we've got a more than a good enough squad. And that will pretty much complete it. Along with Iwani, of course. So, any of these. Probably Ellis not included. McKenna. Obviously Kake. I mean, there's a few that I don't really want to get rid of. But Guhi, Robertson... Chengbin, I wouldn't be against selling him if the right offer came in. A Rebella I don't really want to get rid of him. A BD loan, loan for a BD would be great. So we should offer, just offer him out for a loan. See what comes in, if anything comes in. Uh, Radibi, we're still waiting on offers for him if if they come in. Guhi, I don't think will allow me to. Um, yeah. I mean, he feels like he can trust me, so I don't want to rock the boat, do I? So I best not offer him out. He's no longer going to be available for a loan because he looks half decent, which is good, which is what we want. Just realised I haven't got a really established centre back on the bench, have I? Hmm. I probably don't need two there. Where's my moody? Where's my Moody? Oh, he's the um, partner for uh, Cadino at the moment. So we can probably swap Robinson. Get him there. And then I think it's probably between Rebelado and Mamoudi who partners... I mean, I'm probably leaning more towards Rebello, though, to be honest. And he's another good right back. So you're probably looking at him in there, maybe, over Robertson? Robinson? I'm not sure. I'll have to see. But overall, I think we've got a decent squad. And, I mean, we don't really need any acquisitions at this point, do we? I mean, the only thing I could maybe think of would be another right winger, but... Campos Santos um, looks awesome. Obviously, we've got Vela that can play there. We've got a John Ellis that can play there. Would I be uh, for possibly loaning him out? Maybe. But he would have to be a huge club. You know, someone else in the Premier League. So, is he wanted? He's not wanted yet. But let's offer him out for a loan. I, all I did was put him on the loan list, I think. So, he'd need to be an important player. I don't care about his wages too much because he's only on 26.5. So, if we can get an offer in from another Premier League team, then that would be ideal. No, nothing. Nothing at all. I'm really surprised by that, to be honest. I mean, we'll see. I mean, if we can get Ellis out on loan to someone else in the Premier League, or, you know, because he's homegrown, he can go abroad. So, you know, get him some game time. He feels like he's starting to deserve a new contract as well. So, um, there is that. So, if I could get rid of Ellis, then we'd have Campos, Santos, and Vela that can cover right wing. But then, I know there's another uh, awesome-looking wonder kid floating about, who is like a four-star current ability right winger. I mean, I know Vela's probably that anyway, isn't he? So, but he... Oh, I mean, look at that acceleration and everything. Acceleration, agility, cross it... I mean, he feels like he deserves a new contract as well. I don't know. Do I just go with what we've got? Am I being a bit too... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because Ellis is a good player. Oh, I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll, um, we'll see how it develops. Oh, this is too hard. Well, he have finally had some offers in for Redibi. Uh, Real Madrid and Monaco have submit uh, loan offers, which is absolutely fine. I just want him out the door, to be honest. Um, it's not covering all of his wages, but it's more than enough for me. Um, Dortmund signed Heber Goray. Do you remember him? Well, we sold him to Benfica a couple of years ago. 
uh, sorry, last year, and uh, they pretty much doubled their money on him. So uh, if he stuck around with us, we could have got a bit of money from him. But we still made some money because uh, they sold him for 44.5 million, and we got 30% of the profit, which was 7 million. So um, can't grumble at that. It gives us a little bit more money in the kitty, puts us up to 71 million, which is absolutely awesome. I've got no issues with that at all. Uh, so there's that offer going through. There's the Ellis. Is he going to be loaned out? I genuinely don't know. Because uh, if he is loaned out, then I will go in and buy that. Uh, I think he's from um, Villarreal. It's definitely somewhere in Spain. Have we got any Spanish players so I can just nip over there? Really? I've not got a single Spanish player. Wow. That does really surprise me. Uh, let's just go to the world ranking because Spain are always there. Um... Villarreal, I'm sure he plays for Villarreal. He's an Algerian player. Oh, uh, really? Am I really going to have to search for Algeria now? There they are. Is it this guy? No. No. It's a, re it's a regen. It's 100% a regen. He's like 19. Oh, God. I can't find it. Where, where's he gone? Oh, damn it. Lost him. I believe I lost him. Um, I genuinely don't know how I'm going to be able to find him now. Because he's not... I don't think he's not coming through on my scout reports anymore, either. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. So, where has he gone? He might have been sold. I mean, that's a, that's a possibility, I guess. Now I am, I am debating on whether to bid for this guy because he's a midfielder, which we really don't need because we've got so much talent in midfield. But just look at him; he's awesome. Even in central midfield, he's incredible. The composure, decisions, flair, teamwork, vision—it'd be stupid not to sign him. Navade, Skokmo. I mean, then that would mean I get rid of Herslov possibly. I don't know. <sighs> you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It'd be stu it would be absolutely stupid not to. I'm just going to bid 18 and a half just so we get him. You know, it'd be, it, like I said, man, it'd be stupid not to. And we try and get rid of uh, Herslov. So we offer him out unspecified, see if anyone comes in for him. I'm not really fussed about the fee, to be honest, because it's not like we really need the money. Uh, so, I mean, he wants a lot of money, which is completely understandable. And I am more than willing to give it to him. I mean, that's that's fine. I've got no issues with that at all. Um, so, yeah, Hersloff. I'm so, I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry because you came in you, you you came back you're a much better player but yeah we've j <sighs> we're going to transfer this to you for 50 I know we could probably get more for you but I'm not really fussed about getting more for you to be honest Uh, so he's going, that's good. I'm fine with that. Let's offer you out unspecified again, I guess. It's like I said, I'm not really fussed about what we get for him. It's just... I think it's definitely the type of player we can get rid of. Because he's got he's young, he's got potential, and he doesn't want a lot of money. So there is that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But I think... It'd be stupid to not get um, that new bloke, Norman. Norman. Oh, when he guys signed a new contract at Man United. He's only out for a few days. That is fine. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, Christian. It's just you don't fit into my plans at the minute. Even if I was to get rid of him on loan again. I mean, it's 30 it's 30 grand a week. I'm not going to I'm not going to go gaga over 30 grand a week, am I? Someone wants to loan him in the Premier League, that is fine. I mean, I mean, I'm not asking for any wage contribution at all and I still can't get rid of him. That is mad. That is just absolutely mental. That is like stupidly mental. Oh, I don't know what to say. Oh dear. Um, Houston, we have a problem. Jordan Ross is going to be out for at least two months here. So um, I'm thinking we send him to a specialist. So yeah. Um, Rebella, though, you've just gone down a little bit in my estimation because of that. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. So that means Juwani will be in. And Baghi will be in as well. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Okay, thought it was um, ideal to come back. Because I don't know if you uh, got a glimpse of this before I ended the previous clip. Um, yeah, it's only a difference of 6 million. So... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Collins. You're a gent. And now we can... Can we offer him a contract now? Please? Please? Please let me offer Gazmi a contract. Okay, so we've made a bid. Did we already offer him a contract? I'm so confused. I don't think we did. Are we waiting until the next day before we can offer him a contract? I genuinely don't know. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Where can we offer him a contract? It's been accept but it was accepted. I am so confused. I have every confidence in this player. We could have had him a while ago, but um yeah, didn't. What what what's going on? There we go, finally, thank you. Right, Gazmi, here we go, my man. Uh yeah, you already get you already get paid more than enough. And that is absolutely fine. Does that put us over our wage budget? It does massively. Oh dear. So yeah, we are gonna probably look to sell a few players. Uh Ryan possibly um, I'm willing to accept 29, I guess. Uh, and that's it. I'm not really looking to sell anyone else. And uh, we'll see if we can get rid of them, you know, towards the, uh, towards deadline day. Obviously, we're not going to be seeing that right away because obviously there's going to be the break in the save and stuff. But, um... Yeah, I guess we'll see. I mean, if we can offload those players, that would be great. Uh, I think the, the squad is, like, m like too big now. Absolutely. So get rid of Guhi, Ellis, Ryan. Uh, Radibi's already gone, so that's good. He'll just stay there for now, I guess. And uh, Hersloff and Abidi, hopefully, will go out and loan. That would be good. I wonder if like, FC United would accept him. Targets. Oh, it's not actually... FC United of, there we go, so offer them to him, loan offer, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't want any contribution at all, oh, Ryan's wanted by Southampton on loan, interesting, I mean, let's just loan him out, I mean, Oh, here we go. Um, I'll accept them all. I'll accept them all. It just gets him out the door. Gets him some more playing time. Because we're not going to be able to offer him anything here. 
I mean, because of the signing of um, Brunel. Is it Brunel or Brunel? Oh, Christ. I'm botching his name already, guys. Right. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go forward a little bit more. Just imagine the nostalgia for me if Luke Hume, the West Ham uh, young striker, just imagine if FC United loaned him. I, w I literally, I would, yeah, <laughs> I I'd just lose it because that would just be a whole nostalgia thing. Now, this guy, obviously, probably nothing in comparison to what our Luke Hume was in FM21 for FC United. Obviously, he started in Man United Youth Academy. This one, however, he started in Scotland at Alloa. So, uh, yeah, so he did okay there in in Holland in the Eredivisie. He did all right at Sheffield Wednesday in the champ. I mean, I say he did all right. didn't really do all right, did he? So, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, but the main reason why I brought you back is because Gasme has agreed to join me. And that was not meant to uh, be a, a rhyme or anything like that. But this does put us in a little bit of a, a pickle because of our um, wage budget. So he's in. He is. It, it looks incredible. I think this was a really good signing to make. Uh, Mark Ryan is going out on loan, so that's good with him. Good for him. So uh, should we, you know, need him again next season, which is unlikely, then he will be coming back to us, which I guess is good. I guess is fine. You know, and it's the same thing with Radibi at the minute as well. Um, I wouldn't call Radibi and Ryan Deadwood. It's just we're in. So, you know, the ones that aren't as good we're just selling, even though those ones that are just as those ones that are good would probably still get in the team anyway with without me so I'm getting confused myself now. It's not um exactly rare that I do that, but uh in terms of transfer activity now, I think we're probably done, if I'm honest, because I don't think we can really strengthen anywhere else unless we're two hundred million so we can sign one guy back. Because obviously we're in a bit of a pickle because um, Jordan Ross is injured. And uh, yeah, but I have actually made an offer for another player. Um, Roko uh, Lorinov, or Lorinov, um, a uh, right winger. You know, another one. Why not? You know, you can't have enough right wingers. Um, only because uh, potentially this guy is the best one on the scout reports that we're getting in. So um, I think um, it would be a good signing and it'd come in, it'd be loaned out or maybe just sit in the under-21s for a couple of years. Um, I think that's absolutely fine and a player that would become homegrown. So um, there we go. But I've not had any more offers in for any of the other players. Um, obviously, I do want to try and trim the wage budget a little bit because we are massively over at the moment. With that fee for what's it? I mean, can we... Yeah, it's not, um, I mean, I think that would be okay, but we're only, I mean, we're only just over it. So one sale and we're fine. One sale and we're absolutely fine. So if Hirschloff leaves or, well, that's it now. Can only rely on Hirschloff leaving. So yeah, <laughs> that aged well, didn't it? That sure did age well. I don't really know where this guy fits in, to be perfectly honest. I mean, obviously he'll go in for Santos, that is that is for sure. But I don't know what happens to Santos. I mean, he's trained at club, he's not going anywhere, no chance. There's no way he's leaving. Would you... Yeah, I didn't think he would. I didn't think he would. I'm not interested in get. Oh. Oh, Kakit is tapping out at four stars. That is not t nice for me to see. What about Jones? Oh, he's still five stars view. Jorna, he's still five stars view. I think I think that will come back. I think it will come back. I have hope that it will come back. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. <gasps> no, I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Um, yeah, you know what? I think this team looks incredible now. Absolutely. Um, we have certainly splashed the cash, and we've not actually sold anyone. Um, oh, have we? Oh, and, well, ones that we agreed ages ago. Ones that we agreed ages ago. But the main one is, obviously, Dean Henderson going to Villarreal. But, yeah, we've spent £95 million, um, Along with what we already spent here. So, Baki, um, Nevsky. So, you're looking... I mean, you're looking at the best part of £200 million that we've spent. Which is pretty awesome. 
which is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think we've done some incredible business this year. I am really happy with the transfer business we've done. And um, where does that leave us now? It still leave us, leaves us in fifth, which really does surprise me. I think that we've got some of the best players in the league. I mean, this guy, he should have come to us, shouldn't he? I mean, if he was to come to us now, then I think, yeah, just job done. Do I be cheeky and ask for some more money? Oh, I can't. I actually can't. Okay, so that's... Um, oh, with youth facilities. Yeah, I mean, you can afford it. We've got the best part of 400 million. So we can afford it. So, yeah, we can afford it. Um, I think that'll probably... I think that'll probably be the end of the video, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I was thinking of showing you the community shield, but I think we'll probably, I think we'll probably leave that till the, when we come back because we'll do um, Man City in the community shield, and then we'll play FC United in the Premier League. But before we do go, let's have a look at FC United because of the transfer business they've done. They have spent thirty-five million, so they've spent a bit of money. I don't think they've spent enough in order for them to stay up. I think they've got a massive task on their hands, massive. I mean, if they and Enfield can stay up, that would be incredible. Um, now, I'm not sure where I mentioned it, but I do remember recently, now, obviously for me, being like recording this on the 3rd of May, I do remember, very recently, it might have been in a, uh, in an NBA Supercard video, or maybe even in the previous video of this save, that I was thinking of ending the save, uh, like, after this season. Now, I did think about it, I did consider it, but I don't, I mean, even though I am wanting to take a break from this save... In terms of uploading, you know, just give it a little break and maybe have a few bits in between. Maybe just give myself a little break from recording and not pumping out as many videos because obviously sometimes uh, quantity is not the answer. Quality a lot of the time is the answer. Now, for me, for me, I obviously focus, I focus, for me, I focus more on quantity than quality. Uh, I've never had that said to me before, but. I don't know if any of you guys feel that way, but um, because I have pumped out like best part of 1500 videos over the course of my YouTube career, I see people posting, you know, not even 5% of that, and they've got hundreds of, th hundreds of thousand subscribers. Now, obviously, my target market is not for everyone, which is completely understandable. So, um, yeah, that's why I do it. You know, I try and uh, I appeal to different games, of course, different different things. Obviously, I do a few different streams now and again. But, yeah, but in terms of this save, generally, I have really, really enjoyed it. It's just I could just use a little bit of a break from, record, from like, recording, you know, releasing videos almost every single day, sometimes two videos a day. Uh, for a very long time now, I think ever since the start of 2023, I've released a video almost every day, and like I say, sometimes it's been two, and even in some cases, three videos in a day, because cause I just want it that bad, I really do want, I really do back myself, and I really do want to succeed, and I just want to start earning a little bit of money from this, that would be great, uh, that's the, that's the, that's the dream, I guess, but, um, yeah, but in terms of the save, it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to be ending it after this season coming. Um, we'll just see how it naturally goes. I highly doubt it's going to work. It won't be ending. This will not be the final season. I can assure you of that. Because there is still a lot of time left in FM23. Now, I was debating on doing something else as well. I'm not sure if that's necessarily going to be the case. Because I see that save as maybe something along something that we do in fm24 with when hall of famer fm24 ends um i don't plan on doing a road to glory save like releasing it on youtube um maybe we do one as a a a, a stream save like we tried to do with this but it just wasn't getting the viewership at the time and it got me down and i thought you know what let's just try as a video series instead and it's mixed mixed reviews i would say but um on the whole, I have really enjoyed this save. It's been 
I think looking back now, like looking at the finances and stuff, I think I probably pumped too much money into the other bit when I did the pre-game edit and stuff. So that is something I will obviously take into consideration um, when I come to do it again next year with the with the stream save or whatever I decide to do. But yes, so um, I've got big plans for Football Manager in the future. Hall of Famer for me has been uh, been really, really good. Um, that obviously ended for you probably about a month ago, maybe a bit more. Uh, but um, yeah, really enjoyed the concept of that save. I'm really looking forward to bringing it back in FM24 uh, with the starting club Yeovil, if you didn't already know, because obviously recent relegated to the uh, National League South after seven, eight years ago being in the championship. So massive fall from grace for them. We'll be there for a bit, I, mean, I can imagine. And when it comes to moving clubs, I'm going to do my absolute best not to go to clubs that I've previously managed. So in this year's, the first year of Hall of Famer, I did Scunthorpe, Motherwell, Sheffield Wednesday, Watford, Spain, Real Madrid, Manchester City. I don't think I've left anyone out. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But it was good. I really enjoyed that. And I've enjoyed this one as well. So, yeah. Um, we're going on a break now. Um, I'm not sure when we'll be back. I don't think it'll be any more than a month, to be perfectly honest. We're going to have, probably football manager-wise, in... I'm thinking maybe July. This, I mean, this could be... I'm not 100% sure. If, you know, if I get my calculate, If I get my calendar up, I'm thinking this will be ending around the middle or to the towards the, eight, towards the late parts of June. So I'm thinking maybe from now until the end of July, we maybe have a, just have a complete break from, from this and then we resume in August. And that will give me time for July to get other things out instead, like focus more on WWE Supercard and maybe start uploading NBA Supercard a bit more. I've started to do a few wrestle, um, like wrestling question kind of things as well. So it will give me the time to do things like that. And uh, I'll still pump out a few Football Manager videos. I've just literally just started a superb youth experiment thing, which I've just rec I've recorded the first video not too long ago. And... I think it's pretty good, but obviously I'm going to be a bit biased about it. But yeah, guys, um, obviously a lot of riff raff that I've just gone through there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, on top of that, of course, really hope you did. Um, if you did, please show your support by leaving a like and do subscribe if you happen to be new. I might have already mentioned this in the video that as I'm recording this, I am very close to 500 subscribers. So would really like to get there as soon as possible. Would be cracking if we could. Really appreciate your time. I'll see you soon.